Hi YouTube, this um, video actually is a review on a product by Pure Minerals. Looks like this. Um, what is it? Also had a sale with buy one get one free since like sometime like early August. They probably had this. So I bought two. I bought one in deep, which is this one, and then one in deeper, which is the one I've been using. Um, this is how it comes packaged, just like this. Just open it, flash blase. This is how deep looks. Hope you guys can like really see that. And this is deeper. So this is the two next to each other. This one is a little bit more reddish. It has a little bit more of a yellow undertone. Um, so I definitely do use this one deeper. Deep I just keep in case like I do like a friend's makeup or whatever. But anyway, so the product is um, it's a mineral makeup compact. It's supposed to be a 4-in-1. You're supposed to be able to use this as a foundation, concealer, pro um, powder, and it also has an SPF of 15. I don't know how that's whatever, but it is what it is. Um, there weren't a lot of videos on this product for African American female women, well female women, so I decided to try it and then do a video and review and do a video on it. Um, I am currently wearing the, um, a powder over my tinted moisturizer by, I think I used Avon today, yeah I used the Avon one tinted moisturizer, don't know why, I don't really like it that much, but I'm in the house. So I'm just trying out um, this different lipstick look, so I just wanted a face for the camera a little bit. Not too much, because I'm not really going out today. But anyway, back to the product. As a concealer, I have dark circles. As a concealer, this is whack. You, I would not use this as a concealer at all. Absolutely horrible. As a foundation, mm, yes, I do use it as a foundation. I have used it mostly, though, as a powder. Um, it didn't break my face out. Um, it holds up well. It doesn't like rub off like like that much. If, if you use like a setting powder over the powder, then like it wouldn't like smudge if you like run your hands through or anything like that. Um, they show you how they show. They say the best way to use this is with a chisel brush. In the back, it kind of states that. Um, pretty much, a chisel brush is pretty much just one of these. This is like my Elf powder brush. Pretty much a flat top kind of brush it was that she would use to apply this. Um, anything else though, it's, it's good. I do like it. It does work. It does cover. I do like deeper. I think it's a better um, kind of match right now for me. I like it a lot. Is it 20, it retails at $26 per, which is a little bit less than the MAC, I believe. The MAC is, um, I think MAC retails at like $27 or $28. This is what my MAC one looks like. And this is what, this is, I'm MW45 in MAC. And this is what um, this one looks like. Very similar. Um, do I, I don't like it better than my MAC, but... <laughs> I like it. When I go to the clubs or anything like that, I would take this, and instead of taking my MAC, I would take this one because it's a little bit like a lighter thing, so I just use this, and it comes with a little sponge pad like this. don't really use this one. I usually take the one on my MAC and use it and just just like kind of like dab away the, the little oil that's on my face or shininess or whatever the case is, but I do like it. It is worth a try for African American women. You might want to try it. It's really good. And I hope this review helps help people that are looking at the product because I know YouTube doesn't have that many on there. But yet again, this is pure mineral. It is worth a try. It kinda reminds me the packaging is really reminds me of um a L'Oreal packaging. I used to use a L'Oreal um um, powder foundation and it used to look similar to this. That's what it reminded me of it actually when I took it out. But other than that, I do like it. Comes with everything you need that 
a decent sized mirror, all that good, good stuff. Okay? Bye.